And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we're ready to bring you the second leg of this UEFA Champions League semi-final. It's Porto up against Inter. Well, Derek, it's only a one-goal advantage, but Inter were the better team in that first leg. They just need to perform with the same intensity today. Starting lineup for Porto. Pepe plays alongside Marcano in central defence, and so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And this is how it looks for Inter. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays with Henrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Edin Dzeko. And they get the ball rolling in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. Barella. Now with Mkhitaryan. Well, the attack looks promising. Not a great pass. Superb block. Eva Nilsson. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Henrik Mikitarian. Barella has it. Chalanolu. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Chance to play it in. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Dzeko. Oh, in with a chance! And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. Eustachio and scope for them to produce something exciting surely the equaliser and there it is 1-0 their efforts have been rewarded and look at the celebrations well here we can see it again it's a lovely ball in behind perfectly timed and then through on goal he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper there's no stopping that what a great finish As far as the aggregate score is concerned, 1-1. Matteo Damian. The ball with Martinez. Well, attacking possibilities for the Nerazzurri. Barella. 
Very comfortable when in possession. Mkhitaryan. A really intense pressure applied. Barella. Oh, he's gone for goal. Well, I gave him the big build-up, but the keeper has it comfortably. Really nice ball. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Martinez. Now with Mkhitaryan. Given away by Inter. Oh, wonderful bit of skill. Good-looking sequence. The cross is on. Now a decent position. Body in the way. Chalanolu. Matteo Damian. Martinez. Very quick thinking there. And Inter might be able to cash in here. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Martinez. Federico Di Marco. Mkhitaryan. On to Dzeko. Can he finish? Still possibilities. And I think the threat has been averted. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. And they're underway in the second half of this Champions League semi-final second leg. Let's see if something comes of this. The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Chalanolu. Di Marco. Now what can Inter do from this position? Martinez. Tremendous ball played through. Safe pair of hands. Did his job. And not great from the keeper. Eustachio. Still passing it around with authority. And support available but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Can they take advantage? Mateo Suribe. And based on that challenge, you wouldn't be at all surprised if the referee reaches for his pocket. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Delivered into the box. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Couldn't hang on to it. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Barella. Martinez. Martinez! It should be! 
Oh, wonderful save! Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Substitution time it is here. Trying to deliver it accurately. Another corner. Playing it short. Applying vigorous pressure. Lukaku. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Brozovic, Lukaku, Lukaku, it did look on for them but not to be, Uribe, Pepe, superb block, and the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Barella. Mkhitaryan. And still they are locked together. Inter remain on the attack near the end. Now, who can he play it to? Big chance! Oh, he's blocked it! Might really be able to trouble them here. Gives it a go. He got a good palm on it. Well, could this be the moment to see them through? Not much time left now. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Played over. Splendid defending. Well cleared away. Grujic. Oh, a nice looking pass. Great chance to make it a brace, but the keeper had his say. Well, he has to get a second goal soon. He's been brilliant today. Who can he pick out? Plattered away. Well, lovely work to get past his man. Oh, a vital interception. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. Well, the ball rolling again here. The first period of extra time, and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. And the keeper had the measure of it. This is such a close tie. They just need to make the most of these set pieces.
and played short. Barella, and no way through. Top class defending. Lukaku. Bodies forward and the break looks on. This looks threatening. Splendid defending and it needed to be. Well, they're trying to get right into his face. Dumfries. And he's broken free. What a save! He's driven in the corner. And he did what he had to do defensively. Well, that's it for the first period of extra time. Let's see what the second has in store. Well, the drama continues to unfold. Second period of extra time now. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Well, that is how to play advantage. High quality defending. Martinez. Romelu Lukaku now. Dumfries. Inter still on the attack in the game's closing moments. Oh! Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? So the aggregate score currently stands at 2-1. Galeno and Uribe and the attack looks promising and foul it is then well not deemed to be a bookable offence but still it probably entered the referee's mind Dangerous ball. It might still be problematic. Grujic. Big chance. Just couldn't get it through. So now a corner. And there's the delivery. It might be. Great defending here. Could be. Denied again. And clears the danger. There's the referee's whistle. And it is official now. The visitors are on their way to the final.
Well, there'll be some tired bodies out there. That was a tough couple of games, and of course, extra time as well. But they're through to the final, and I think they deserve to be there. They were so strong in that extra period. What a final it should be. Well, I think when we analyse it all, Stuart, we saw flashes of what he's capable of. Well, I would say he was average today, but he can't be at his best every week. He just did a good job for the team.